full coverage or full cover tips. I'm going with full coverage. I seriously struggle with what word to go for this video topic. I see more full cover, but I think full coverage is the more appropriate word. I don't know. I hope a girl on. Okay, now in today's video, we'll be exploring five common mistakes nail stylists make when adhering full coverage tips with gel. Now, there are different ways to adhere these tips, like with poly gel and glue, but I'm going to keep true to what I do on this channel and talk about the issue as it pertains to gel if you want to see the poly gel method comment below and if we get enough buzz i'll go ahead and do it for you deal all right let's do this Greetings and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Paola of paolaponsanails.com and I help aspiring and current gel nail stylists become thriving entrepreneurs. In this channel, we talk Japanese show, natural nails, and business. If it sounds like a fit for you, then don't leave without subscribing. All right, back to today's topic. Full coverage tips, mistake number one, going with the wrong tips. The biggest mistake here is buying tips that are too sculpted. Most people do not have beautiful elongated nail beds that are sculpted with a C curve to them. So they don't fit the natural nails and you have to use a lot more gel. So you're having like a little bit of compatibility issue here. You're having a sculpted plastic nail on top of a flat natural nail. So again, most of us have flat natural nails or only a very natural C curve, not a sculpted one. Unless you want that sculpted look, nothing wrong with it. Buy tips from your preferred brand of full coverage tips that offer a rather natural curve to their tips. I do not recommend that you buy sculpted tips as your standard all fitting nail tip choice like for your clients if you are unsure start with a brand of tips that you can mold you actually can kind of bend a little bit and then roll in a c curve to your liking i really like this start there and then see if you or your clients desire a more sculpted look and japanese gel nail brands kokois and korean brand from the nail offer such full coverage tips also, if you're going extreme length, I do recommend these sculpted tips. So again, you probably know yourself, your clientele, and what they want. So if they're asking uh, for those long nails, they will need a strong C-curve. So I do recommend going sculpted. And when applying those sculpted tips, do make sure you tip the finger downward as you're applying the full cover tip and do it slowly and be ready to immediately freeze, i.e. cure that gel in place, okay? That's going to allow for maximum control because usually when you have a sculpted tip, there is like a big gap between the top of the tip and the natural nail and you have to fill that gap with gel. And for that reason, that gel can actually seep out or kind of get a little bit out of hand. So I do recommend you tip the finger downward. And I've already done a video comparing a couple of brands to each other. So do check it out in my library or the card using the link above. Full coverage tips mistake number two, wrong tip size. So irregardless of whatever brand and style of tip you choose, fitting that full cover tip is oh so crucial. If you choose a size too small for the natural nail, you will most likely apply too much pressure to adhere and that full cover tip could pop off. And you can also go on the other side of the spectrum, right? Choosing a tip that is a bit bigger than that natural nail it's going to adhere to. In this case, if you do not adjust the tip to fit within the lateral nail folds, that's like the skin surrounding the nail, then you or your client will have lifting as a result of the gel or the plastic tip itself touching that skin. All part of the full covered tip should be flush to the natural nail. Remember that. Full coverage tips mistake number three too little gel okay so briefly i already alluded to using too much pressure to adhere the full coverage tip to the natural nails that usually will happen not only when you are trying to make that tip fit but also when you have very little adhesion gel and so you press down to get it to flow 
all over the natural nail. Been there, done that. So I understand the struggle. Now, the right viscosity gel is important for adhesion. If you grab one that is too thin, it will run to the sides and cause lifting after being cured. I do find that whatever adhesion gel the manufacturer recommends typically also comes at the right viscosity. So you do not need to figure this puzzle out, my friend. You go with the gel the manufacturer recommends to avoid any headaches unless you have a tried and true method for something else. No headache zone here, so don't give yourself any unnecessary ones. Likewise, grabbing too much gel can also be a mistake. So here's my rule of thumb. Outline your full coverage tip before putting it on the natural nail by putting as much gel as the length of the nail bed you are putting it on, okay? So you might have to rewind that, outline your full coverage tip before putting it on the natural nail by putting as much gel as the length of the nail bed you are putting it on. Then scrape the excess of your brush into a dollop at the cuticle end of the tip. This is typically the right amount of gel for proper adhesion. Full coverage tips mistake number four, too much pressure. Now is the time to really talk pressure when adhering these full coverage tips. The most pressure should come when you are holding the tip at the cuticle end. Seriously, seriously, just breathe, relax, hold it at the base with gentle pressure. That's the type of pressure you need, gentle. Grab your handheld curing unit and cure five seconds and I want you to count one, two, three, four, five. Then press the free edge slightly to allow the uncured gel to flow just until the end of the natural nail. Continue curing then let go once it all has set where you want it to and cure it. I know that was like a whole meditation scene right here, right? When you look on the underside of the nail, you should neither have a gap or a bulge of gel and just about one centimeter thickness of gel is all that should be there, okay? A little more may be okay. Full coverage tips, mistake number five, not having your light source ready to go totally guilty. This is almost like a life lesson in itself. Okay. So make sure that you are always ready and you stay ready for what, for whatever amount of lemons life gives you to make that lemonade girl. Okay. But seriously, back to full coverage tips. What happens when you squirm for your lamp? You lose control. Don't lose control. <laughs> so you lose this correct pressure amount that you work so hard that you breathe through, right? To achieve and get right in mistake number four. Okay. So always remember size tip, check. Adhesion gel, check. Handheld lamp, check. And I do recommend the handheld lamp if you're struggling because, again, the more squirming or reaching over to pop your client's hand in a lamp, the more likely you are to displace that gel you work so hard to achieve and put into place. Okay, so how are you feeling now? I, I want to hear from you. Are you feeling like you're ready to give the full coverage tips another go? I hope these five mistakes really boost your confidence. And if at the end of applying all of these tips and tricks, you decide that you simply just don't have the patience for this type of service, well, at least you gave it a big fair shot, right? Before I say goodbye, do check out the description box below for any free resources I may have created for you, like trainings and product recommendations. Let me know in the comment section below which one of the five mistakes we discussed were you having trouble with? And don't worry if it was all, as I myself was doing them all too. Remember, I post a new video every Monday, and sometimes there's also a bonus video Thursday, so make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye!